Hello everybody, this is Chucky from the Coleco Brothers. Today I got a package in the mail from Poland from a company called Lotharek. Lotharek is a company that makes floppy drive emulators for a variety of equipment. We hope that there is a floppy drive emulator that I will be using to replace the floppy drive on my 1985 era Ensonic Mirage sampler rack mount. There's nothing wrong with the floppy drive that I have except this floppy drive emulator uses an SD card, so I won't need to use any floppies anymore. I don't happen to have any of my Ensonic Mirage floppies, but I do have all the images saved in a Windows PC in Ensonic image format. So this is the size of the box. It fits nicely in your mailbox. It's full of all kinds of interesting Polish stamps. This is a tax stamp, I believe. Not sure exactly why I think that, except it says tax and it's got Warsaw on it. There is a Warsaw postage, I suppose. There is the return address. There are, I suppose this is a return address and that is some kind of business office address. Tax stamp as again. There is an express delivery and priority air, I suppose is what that says. And there's my address along with some other words. It's very interesting to me. It's not too big, a couple inches tall, about the size of a floppy with some extra packaging around it. So there's the outside of the box and I ordered this not even 10 days ago via PayPal directly from the Lotharek website. And while it's very interesting to order from Poland, in America we don't necessarily hear about Poland that often, so we don't know whether or not it's trustworthy, but in this case there's plenty of reviews online, and this seems to be a highly reputable industrial company. Although I don't know why there aren't any other options for this kind of device. It's quite a uh, rarity. This was the only one that I found that I knew absolutely would work. There are some others from China that are much cheaper but they only emulate a 1.44 megabyte floppy drive. This emulates all floppy drives as best I can tell, including the rare and elusive awkward formats of vintage samplers. I'll be making other videos in the future about how to install it. That is not what this video is about. So I went on the Lotharek website and I sent them via PayPal what amounts to 120 euros and PayPal does a good conversion job into Polish currency, so it wasn't that expensive. And with the exchange rate nowadays, it was only $130, which is much cheaper than it would have been last year. So I, this looks to me to be a packing slip, so I'm gonna try and open it up now. I'm gonna try and not damage the Polish sticker because it's kind of cool, and I will cut it open for this end. Let's see if we can remove the packing slip. And there it is. We'll see what the packing slip says. And look, it's just nothing but a printed label for the mailbox. Nothing special. Don't know what FB means. Oh, this is a HXC Revision F Black. This should be a black floppy drive emulator inside. So now it's time you should open the box. The box appears to be opening from this edge. So we will cut it with the scissors. Let's see what's inside. Okay, it's got some foam, a little peek inside, this is what we have, looks just like all the pictures from the internet, it is black color, there's the SD socket, there's a little LCD display that shows the front, it's a standard floppy drive interface, some jumpers, and a floppy drive power, it's very nice. So let's take it out and see what it looks like. So it's up there. There's the emulator. There 
There's the front. It's got three buttons for selecting which floppy drive image you want to run off the SD card. There's the LCD that you will display which image you have selected. And there are the buttons. There is no label, but inside there is a label if you wanted it to be branded. I do not because I think that this label looks kind of busy. It doesn't impress me at all with this graphic design, but it is nice that they included it. Inside the box is phone. No instructions of any kind because who needs instructions on putting in a floppy drive? All the instructions are available on the internet. There's a standard floppy drive mounting holes. Should fit nicely into any three and a half inch drive bay. Fair enough. Well, this is what it looks like. It's definitely professionally built. It's a metal case. Powder coat is fine. Shape and the bending, the inserts are all fine. All the mounting holes are in the right place. There's only one chip on board, that's all it needs to be. The programming inside is what matters. Looks it's designed by J.F. Del Nero, produced by Lotharek, with some words that I can't read in Polish. It is an HC 2001. There's a better logo. HC 2001. That is a little buzzer, if I remember from some videos I've seen. So that it should make floppy drive noises, even though there is nothing to make noise in here. Definitely what you're paying for is the program inside the chip, and the fact that he's gone through the effort to create such a beautiful piece of equipment, and nobody else has. So I'm glad it exists. It's going to save me a great deal of time not making floppies. And it will make my once dead Mirage useful, because I will now have a way to put sounds into it. Back in the 90s, I used Mirage all the time, made a great deal of my own samples. The sample library on floppies has been lost somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Could be in my mother's basement or something to that effect. Anyway, it was pretty scary ordering this from the internet, from a foreign country, for a not small amount of money. But it came in a very decent amount of time. It looks very well done. Quite a few people have said that it works very, very well, including some professional musicians that I have inquired to on Facebook and other places. Uh, one is, you know, reasonable music celebrity with great deal of radio airplay. It says that he has several of these in several units, and they work very, very well. Anyhow, if you want to hear what the Mirage should sound like, go check out some of the other videos on Coleco Brothers' YouTube channel. You'll see some old music that will hopefully be revived soon. Anyway, I'll be back with more videos describing how to install this in the Insonic Mirage and how to make it work. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like this channel.